Hello there, YouTubers. Well, here it is, the star out of the past couple of videos, the blue Privileg 8020E microwave. Judging by the style of this uh, ugly looking thing, I'd say it's a fairly new one. I've already taken out the screws on the back, so we should be able to get the side panel off. And sure enough, we are. And now, put that to the side carefully. Now we can, uh, ooh, wow. Quite impressive. I have, of course, seen videos where people took apart these things, but uh, seeing this in person, of course, uh, you also get an idea of uh, the size of things. Well, seems like our microwave is, or was, made by Deyu. Because uh, on the Magnetron it does say Deyu, and of course Privileg is just a store brand. Okay, so what do we have in this thing? Well, of course, up front, you can't see that right now, we do have a circuit board with all the control electronics on there. Right here we have the light. There is actually a proper, quite a big, uh, light bulb in there. It's just some plastic construction. This, of course, is the magnetron that uh, fabricates the microwaves that make this thing work. Down here we have the old famous microwave oven transformer. And I'm going to be quite excited to uh, check that thing out. That is actually one of the main reasons I wanted to have a microwave. We have an all plastic construction here with a cooling fan. And we have this. That seems to be a kind of a mains filter choke slash fuse assembly. Well, other than that, I can't see too much exciting, too many exciting parts, so let's go ahead and start taking this thing apart. Now, of course, always keep in mind, we are dealing with very, very high voltages inside one of these things, so I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect this capacitor here, if I can. Okay, that's, uh, that's on there. Wow, okay. There we go. Get that one out. What I'm going to do for uh, my own safety is I'm going to install a little alligator clip lead on this and actually uh, short it out. Get these wires out of the way. Short that thing out. Well, no spark, so probably would have been safe to take this thing apart anyway. Okay, moving on. I'm going to get this magnetron out of the way. And, uh, okay, there is that. Oh, okay. One screw, and the rest of the thing is just clipped in place. Ah, there we have it, the magnetron. Now, as you can see, the whole entire ventilator fan part is just clipped in place. And, uh, yep, there it is. There it is, a filthy, dirty ventilator fan, little uh, shaded pole motor down there. And uh, there is that uh, mains filter choke and fuse thing. There's quite a hefty 16 amp fuse up on there. That's quite interesting. Once again, one side is screwed in and the other one is just clipped in place. So you can see, it actually does seem to have a little resistor built in. Got a random screw out of, uh... oh, there we go. That was uh, surprisingly easy. Just have to clip some wires. Oh, there it is. Filthy light bulb. Oh, it's quite an interesting light bulb, this. 
might be able to see the filament in there. <laughs> nice. Next one is going to be the front panel. Even that, just one screw and it should, in theory, come right out. Yep, there it is. That's all. On the bottom we have an interesting last minute decision. There is this, uh, this little thing right here and uh, it uh, really is supposed to be not in place, still connected with the material like that. It really is supposed to uh, go around then into there, it just uh, once again it clips into place, and then screws in place right there. And the screw for that is actually there. Not sure if you can see that. It is there. So uh, it's kind of a, kind of a strange service access panel. And down here we have synchronous motor that turns the table of the microwave as well as a little temperature sensor so that the thing doesn't overheat. Yep, there it is. That's that. A little flat synchronous motor. There it is. Oh, there it is. Microwave oven transformer, quite a big one, I have to say. You could uh, you could make a very very powerful amplifier with that one. And uh, well, that's what I might try to do. <laughs> okay, just another fuse just as expected. It's even replaceable. Oh, <laughs> uh, seems like uh, we may have blown that or cracked it or whatever, but uh, it's definitely not going to fuse anything anymore. Let's see. Five kilovolts, 550 milliamps. And here we have a look at the magnetron out of the microwave. And uh, did some uh, reading on Wikipedia. It's quite an interesting construction. These magnetrons do have uh, quite something in common with uh, the good old electron tubes or valves. There is a vacuum inside of there. There is a filament inside of there. That's uh, where these two connections are going. And uh, you have an anode and you have a cathode. The microwave oven transformer puts uh, quite a bit of voltage in between the two, so we get some electrons flowing in there. Now, the big difference from a regular tube is that uh, instead of uh, just having some sort of a grid in there to control the amount of electrons I get from A to B, it has some resonators in there. And so, it does create the microwaves. And uh, those, of course, are coming out in the front. That's an antenna. And yes, it is, in fact, an antenna, although it does look kind of funny. In between, we have um, to uh, also to control the electrons a little bit, we have uh, two permanent magnets, which uh, you may or may not be able to see down in there, but you you can definitely see they are magnetic and of course since this thing does fabricate quite a bit of power we do have some uh, cooling fins. This is a control circuit board. It was a kind of a cheap microwave so consequently this is also looking kind of cheap. It does however have its own independent power supply. There is a little transformer and a smoothing capacitor, stabilizer circuit and uh, of course all integrated into one chip right there and uh, the 
interesting bit is this right there. This is a relay that uh, turns the microwave oven transformer on and off. The great thing is it has a 16 amp rating. So that is quite handy for some uh, household projects, controlling lights or whatever. Here we have a look at the schematic diagram that is in this thing. It's uh, quite a simple circuit. Mains voltage comes in right there and uh, we do have some of the control circuitry in between. We do have a uh, nice little relay that uh, switches the power to the microwave oven transformer right there, this thing. And of course all the accessory stuff, we have uh, these three of course, that's a little motor that turns the, uh, turns the table, we have the light bulb and we have of course the fan in the back, the cooling fan. This is of course where it gets interesting, this is the little symbol for the magnetron and we can see quite well we have the filament up there and that is being supplied by this uh, small uh, secondary winding of the transformer. That's the two connections up top. And then connected between one of the two and ground we have uh, anode and cathode. Here is the high voltage uh, output of the transformer, usually two kilovolts. That goes into the high voltage fuse. Then it goes into that uh, capacitor that we've seen, which is uh, actually a, uh, a capacitor and a resistor in parallel. And then what I thought was a resistor actually turns out to be this uh, high voltage diode. What this does is it acts as a voltage doubler circuit. So according to Wikipedia, we're getting two kilovolts out of here. However, the magnetron does get a whopping 5,600 volts, 5.6 kilovolts. So uh, that's what that is all for. And uh, well, that's it basically. As I said, there is, uh, there is really not a whole lot to it. Now, a few minutes ago, I said that you could power an amplifier with one of these microwave oven transformers. And, uh, well, you may be wondering how on earth is he going to do that? This thing puts out two kilovolts and there aren't any amplifiers with that kind of a working voltage. Well, it's quite simple. We just turn this thing around. What I've done is I have connected the mains into the high voltage output of the transformer and if we now measure the secondary, which uh, is on the back, you can see we are getting a very, very useful 24 volts out of this thing. And uh, the great thing is we're going to get 24 volts with a lot of amps. These transformers are very powerful. You can already see that by the very, very thick wire they used for the primary or, well, what now is, of course, the secondary. However, before using a microwave oven transformer in such a way, it is a good idea to disconnect the uh, one side of the high voltage winding from the housing of the transformer because you definitely don't want to end up with uh, the transformer core being live. But uh, at least on this transformer, that can be done without, uh, without any problems. And there we have the sad remains of the microwave, ready to go back to the dump. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.